A girl sat on my husband's lap and I don't know what to do. I am still so shocked with everything so sorry for my rambling. This is so, so wrong. My husband Jake and I have been married for three years, and from the beginning he was very close with his best friend's sister Cindy, who is only 18. Well, my husband would often talk about her and tell how he had seen her grow up throughout the years. Cindy is always very bubbly and seems very fond of Jake as well. I remember when we were dating, she would ask to come along on our dates a lot. I guess we really has some problems with boys on her side. I never really said anything as I liked spending time with her as well. She was like a little sister to me. When we announced our engagement, she asked my husband to better not forget her after being a married man and to still hang out with her. Well, we got married and I even made her my bridesmaid. Soon we moved to a different state and kind of lost contact. Now Jake's best friend came to stay with us for some time, and Cindy came along as well. Now, the moment she saw us, the first thing she said was how hot my husband has gotten, and she was glad he didn't look like those boring married men. Then, throughout their stay, Cindy would just ignore my presence and will be way too close with Jake. I told Jake that it was looking a bit inappropriate and to ask Cindy to tone it down, but he said that Cindy is just a bit childish and is that way with everybody. Well, at their last day, we decided to host a dinner party for everybody. During the party, I was with Jake when Cindy came and told me, Oh, I need to steal her husband for a while, and before I could say something, she grabbed Jake's hand and took him for playing games. I ignored it since it was their last day, but then throughout the dinner, she was getting way too close with Jake and would just drag him away whenever I would be around while giggling at me. When everybody sat for dinner, I sat beside Jake and Cindy came last. She then said, Oh, there is no seat, and then just went and sat on my husband's lap. Everybody was surprised, and Jake said laughing, Cindy, stop acting like a kid. Uh, are not a kid anymore. Cindy started laughing, saying it was a joke, and got up and sat on other seat while giggling at me. Yeah, I was so angry with the disrespect, and with the fact that Jake was so cool with it, but I didn't want to say anything bad, so I excused myself, took my car, and went out. About one hour later, Jake called me asking where I was. I told him I'm going to my friend's house, and I will come after Cindy has left. I know what I did was terrible, but I was so angry at that time that if I had stayed there any longer, I would have probably started fighting or crying. I came the next day, and Cindy and her family had left. Jake was very pissed and said I took things too far. I started crying and told him how everything made me feel. He said I was horrible to think such things about Cindy and that she was like his sister. I told him that I was not doubting his intentions, but I was hurt by how disrespectful Cindy's behavior was, and he was enabling her by not saying anything. He started saying that I sound ridiculous and couldn't even take a joke, referring to the sitting on lap incident. I said regardless, I don't want her in my house again. To top it off, Cindy sent a message saying that she was sorry about making me so insecure in myself, and that she would make sure to make me feel better, but I should not have left as it was pretty childish and kind of spoilt the mood. It felt so backhanded, I didn't reply anything to her. I just told my husband he needs to maintain a distance with Cindy. He asked if I was giving him an ultimatum. I said if he will go as far as disregard and disrespect my feelings for Cindy. This really rubbed my husband the wrong way, and he said, Since I have such disgusting thoughts in my mind and is giving him an ultimatum anyways, then he might as well leave because he cannot leave with such an insecure person who has such disgusting thoughts about him. He packed a bag and left to his mother's place. I have tried apologizing numerous times, telling how sorry I am for everything, but he is ignoring my texts and calls. Later, Cindy's brother texted me and called me a bunch of names to think like that about his sister, saying Jake should just leave me and a disgusting person like me deserves to be alone. I could not stop crying after that. I don't know how to fix this. Now during the dinner, there was Cindy, her brother Sean and his GF and their cousin Derek, also a good friend of my husband. So I called Derek and asked about the situation and what happened after I left. He was sympathetic and said that after I left at first, they thought I would come back after some time. However, things were really awkward. But when I didn't come, Sean's GF told Cindy that she was so disrespectful for doing that. Derek and his BF also said the same thing. To this, Cindy started crying, saying they didn't have to corner her and attack her over a silly joke, that she didn't know it would get so out of hand. She then left the room while crying. Jake didn't know what to say, 
and everybody left early the next day. Derek also told that Cindy has always had issues with boundaries, and when he introduced his BF to everybody, Cindy would get too close and would joke that she was just checking. They were really uncomfortable with it as well, so Derek confronted her, to which Cindy rolled her eyes and said they can't take a joke and eventually stopped. This all sounds so bizarre, IDK what's going on with Cindy. Sean's GF also texted me, saying she was sorry for what happened. I told him how Sean's message was inappropriate, but she had no idea about the text, so I sent her a screenshot and asked her to tell Sean to not bully me again. She was very apologetic and said she would talk to him. Now my mother-in-law called and asked what was going on as Jake didn't tell her and only said we had an argument. I was a bit hesitant to tell, but eventually told everything. She was furious at my husband. She said they will be coming to have a talk. So yeah, I am just waiting for them to arrive and really nervous. I don't know if what I did was right or wrong, but we will see. So after all the drama, my mother-in-law came with my husband, and well, the talk happened. There were a lot of things, but I will try to summarize. Basically, Jake apologized to me first and tried to explain his POV. He said that he was angry because I left without saying anything for the whole night when he was literally trying to just defuse the situation and tried to laugh it off because it was so awkward he didn't know what else to do. But instead of communicating, I just left him in that weird situation. He was meeting his friends after such a long time and just wanted the dinner to be peaceful, and Cindy was going back anyways, and we would most likely never meet her again. He acknowledged Cindy was indeed overstepping boundaries, but he didn't know how to bring it up since he has literally seen her growing up, and she's like a little sister to him. Also, she acts like that with everyone. He thought that it was just for a few days, and he wanted no drama during their stay, so he would just brush it off. He did acknowledge he was wrong about not saying anything. He was already really worried and sad because how I just left with no explanations. Even after I came not once, I asked how he felt, he was also very overwhelmed with everything and felt I was accusing him for not doing anything when he literally pushed her off as politely as possible when she tried to sit. He felt I was attacking his character and even gave the ultimatum, which made him so sad as he felt if I thought that less of him. It wasn't about Cindy, but about how easy it was for me to question his sincerity. He said, after that dinner, he was going to go extremely low contact with her anyways. He apologized for not speaking up about the disrespect Cindy was showing towards me and for also leaving like that. Then, after Jake said everything mother-in-law explained Jake about the situation from her perspective, she scolded him a lot as well. In short, she told him that as a husband, it was his responsibility to make me feel like I am his priority and that he disappointed me the moment I had to come to him to ask for establishing boundaries. As a husband, it was his duty that I never would have to come to him about this in the first place. She also asked him how he would have felt, had it been a guy on my lap, and he had no answer to it. She told him how what I did was an eruption of suppressed feelings, and as a husband, it was his duty to go A for me and never let me leave in the first place. There were a lot of things said by her, and Jake seemed to realize and sincerely apologized for his actions. She told him if he ever pulled such stunt ever again, than to not expect her to take him in. Later, she took me for a walk. It was just the two of us, and there she explained some things to me as well. She said that she is sorry for everything, but told that even at her house Jake was distraught. He didn't tell her because he most likely knew he was wrong too, but was overwhelmed about everything as well. She said she in no way excusing her son's behavior, but would hope that I would forgive him. She also said that in no circumstances, I need to leave my house as it was my house and my family. She said I shouldn't be afraid in speaking my mind if anything makes me uncomfortable, and to talk to her if Jake does something stupid again, and she will set him straight. She hoped we work it out since she has seen our love for each other, and it would be sad to see us split up due to some disrespectful brat, her words. She said she cannot have a say in our issues, but suggested that we should get counseling to understand each other better. She even bought ice cream for me. I know it's a bit childish, but she said sweet things work as a charm when people are upset, and well, she was right. Well, it was awkward at night. Jake came to our room and we didn't know what to say. After a while, we talked and both apologized to each other. However, I did tell that I was angry at him to tell everything to Sean and was deeply hurt by the text he sent me. He said he didn't know what I was talking about, and I showed him the text. 
He said he didn't tell Sean, her brother, about our fight, and only told him that he was at mom's place. He called Sean, and well, it turns out Sean told Cindy, and told her how she went too far at the party. Then Cindy made a huge sob story about how I was passive-aggressive with her the whole time, how I would always try to question her character and act insecure and jealous. She even went on to say that I was always like that with her, even when she was a kid, and that I never liked her and always tried to manipulate people into thinking I was an angel while she was a, well, B-word. Well, that made him angry to think how I have been treating Cindy, and he sent those texts. Jake and I were baffled by such accusations, and he tried to explain Sean how it wasn't true. But then Jake just let it be, and decided to go no contact with Cindy, and extremely low contact with Sean. Jake apologized again, and we just cuddled and slept. Well, Cindy is out of our lives for good now, and we have decided to go counseling for better communication in future. Let's see how everything goes in future, but yeah, we are not getting divorced. Looks like everything is good, at least for now.